Hello, and welcome. I'm Zyner, and here we are once again playing modded Minecraft. And, uh, so, uh, zombie awareness is working. This is, uh, actually a small horde, because, yeah. Like, it, it's pretty ridiculous. So I've turned the rain down to 5%. We got a bunch of things I want to do. Uh, first of all, I made some capacitors. We know about the basics. Oh. The double layer is pretty simple. Coal powder, energetic alloy, basic capacitors. Energetic alloy is made with glowstone, gold, and redstone. And it says 10,000 RF, but that seems to be skewed if you put a capacitor in here. Because it didn't seem to be taking anywhere near that. Then, there's the next tier up, the Octatic, which is made with two double layers, a vibrant alloy and a glowstone, and a vibrant alloy is made with an energetic alloy and an ender pearl. So I've burned up all my ender pearls on two Octatic capacitors. So, I want to apply these, but I've got this up here first, so I guess we'll do this. This is from Artifice. It's a universal upgrade. It... It says on breaking two, but here's the way it works. So I'll take these, an iron ingot, a piece of leather, a string, and a stick, and I'm going to make four of these. Because you only get one level each. The whole reason behind the, what it says is because it won't let you upgrade any higher than the amount that it says on there. So there's also a one of those that provides efficiency, but it also provides sharpness, and it's really cheap, and it can do up to three, so we'll need three each. So we're going to make six of those, because we're going to put three on the sword. But first things first, I want to get cruising along with... Ooh. Well, I just realized that I've made a grave error. I have made a very grave error by making these two octatic capacitors I can no longer make vibrant alloys because or a vibrant crystal because a vibrant crystal takes vibrant alloy nuggets and well yeah uh... I have one option oops so okay that didn't work as planned let's just do a uses on this instead I have pretty much one option. I can try and break it down doing this, but this is apparently pointless because I'm not going to get all of my calcium carbonate back, so this isn't actually going to get me very far. So I made a grave mistake there. However, I can still use do the other thing I want to do, which is I want to use Oh, this takes electrical steel. It used to take tin. So, I've made a grave mistake there. Uh, you know what? Let's just put one of these in here to speed this process up. I can't actually use these because of this. So, let's just do one of these. Well, yeah. I technically can't use them because I've, they're actually part of the whole system I was going to do. So, all in all... Pretty much all of these are completely worthless at the moment, and two of these. So these are the double layer capacitors. I guess I have one extra at the moment. Uh, I'll just put them in there. So, and I'll make this guy generate pretty quick. He dumped into there. Uh, we'll just use sulfur. I've been kind of using the sulfur because I have it. So there's not really a reason not to. What was I doing? I was going to make electrical steel. And there's sometimes an extra output, so that happens. Uh, oh. Oh. Well, I do have plenty of available clay. I feel that, especially with uh, Pam's clay spawn, the easiest way to get silicon is doing this. Now, you don't... You'll obviously lose out on clay. Sometimes you'll get pretty much the full amount back, and you're not guaranteed silicon every time, but it's a high enough yield that I think it warrants it. And, of course, you 
get even numbers back. So you can keep doing this so long as you have uh, two blocks of clay remaining. So, like, I can run this through again, which I might as well. I'll need silicon in the future. So, this is on alloy mode. I still have plenty of cobble in here, but we're going to stay away from that for the moment. And while that's going, I want to make a filler. Because, why not? Uh, I don't have any wood on me. So we'll do that. I did make an anvil so I could do these other things, but I've screwed that up now. I keep checking for Endermen, but I haven't really seen much. Just a ton of zombies. If I really wanted Endermen, I could go looking, but honestly, I've just been waiting for them to pop up. And if I see one, I'll stare at it, and it can come to me. But I'm pretty lacking on the Endermen. I know they do spawn after I put in zombie awareness. I just haven't seen any. So that's unfortunate. That also means that those are going to have to wait till I can accrue two more ender pearls. And sadly, that's going to be hard ish. Uh, oops. Four electrical steel. So now we can make the capacitor. Okay, so I will be putting the capacitor here. So he can input output, and he supports up to 5,000 RF a tick, which is one. Every single one you add, adds another 5,000 available for max IO. And he holds 5 million RF. And it does multi-block, so if I was to add another one, it would hold even more. So now when I'm not using power, after the machines fill up, it'll go in there, and then it will fill up the engine, or generator. So I might as well leave that in there. I need to keep doing checks for Endermen. Uh, hmm. The, fo uh, the cool thing about this is if I really want experience, it's almost like having an experience farm. All I gotta do is slaughter a ton of zombies. Look at that wandering horde out there. And that's not even the largest horde I've seen. I've seen one that looked like it probably had about 20 guys in it at least. But, yeah, they just kind of swarm up against my walls. Ooh, look, there's one of the new mobs. Uh, I believe it's called an energy ghost. And based on the way his head's kind of flipping out, I'm assuming he's benefiting from the increased AI. So that's that's actually good. I like that. So, back to one of the other things I was doing. Only one of them, of course, because I'm easily distracted. Uh, two of these. So, back to doing the filler, I suppose. I'm going to need a landmark and two gold gears. Oh, thank you, Thermal Thingy Doodle, for providing me a simple way of making two gold gears. And cheaper, for that matter. So now I just need a landmark. I'm going to need four of these. Five. Five, because I'm going to need one for afterwards. Or for for afterwards because we're going to use this I have pretty much two ways of handling this area I can either flatten it down or I can build it up so what I'm planning on doing is I'm going to build it up although these zombies are annoying. Uh, is there any Endermen? Any Endermen? There's a witch. Burn the witch. Hmm. No. No Endermen. Okay, I'm gonna sleep, burn all the zombies, and then we're gonna get an idea of what 64 by 64 is, because go big or go home. So we're going to do this. Uh, e no. No, I'm actually going to go down one more because I'm going to replace this bottom level at some point. So I'm going to need a lever. Power it with a, with a redstone signal. 
and you receive lines showing you your max ranges, so that is incredibly useful. Oh, not going up. We don't care about up. So 64 is quite a bit of the way out here, which is good. Uh, I'm going to end up filling in a large amount of the water, so I'm going to want to pick up some buckets. And I'm also going to want to grab my reeds. Oh, too far. So, this is where this guy will go. And we'll just grab these. So that dictates that. Uh, I am going to need to figure out how far down we need to go. And I'm going to have to remove pretty much all these fences. And I've got to get all this done before the zombie invasion. Because if I don't have a wall up, by the time night rolls around, I'm going to have a bad day. Although I am luckily very easy... It's very easy to pick these up. Okay, so... I have a shovel. I just need to figure out how far this continues. Oh, that... That right there is a beautiful spot. However, it does mean that this entire wall of fence needs to go away. Excuse me, Peg. You're on the way. I am going to want to make sure that outside of this, I have an infinite water supply. So I will put those here. Just to be safe. There's some squid there. I can replenish the two ink I just spent. And I think I might actually do that. Also, if you notice there's an apple in my inventory, I did it with three apples, because I figured, why not? I decided to see what would happen if I tried running water through them. At, you know, the food spiking. Three... Well, not three times, but there's three apples, and I, uh... I spiked them 22 times each. Yeah. 22 times. Uh, man, I don't want to take down all these torches. But if I don't, it's going to leave holes. No, I'm going to bury this portal. And I don't really have a good way to pick it up. You know what? It can remain buried. I can work around that. And I'll fill it in manually later, because why not? It is going to be very important that I get the entire area filled in and fenced off before nighttime and lit up. Otherwise, I'm going to have to... If it looks... Ooh, that leaves us with five minutes. Crap. Unless I sleep. I would have to chain sleep in order to keep this safe for long enough, so... That's gonna have to be our... The only available option is chain sleeping. Eh, I'm getting there. So... Oh, okay, so... This apple... I need quite a bit of food, and I can't sprint because my food's too low, but okay. Walk around, pick up some of these. Uh, the thing is, because it's a saturation multiplier, I don't think it's going to multiply enough to really mean too much because it's an apple, and I'm not sure if it is additive or multiplicative. If it's multiplicative, meaning that every single time I spike it, it's an additional, then it should, oops, it should actually equal out to being higher than it was. How, or higher than it could be if it was additive. So, see what happens there. 
Did I not place one of these? I did not place it. Good job, me. Good job. Take that. So now we just need to figure out how far down I need to go, which is... It doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter. We go down five or six blocks, probably. I just kind of want to make sure I fill in the water pools as well. So I'll do one of these. I also want to make sure that I get that other hole filled in pretty sufficiently. Another downside to this is I'm going to have to place it outside. And because of the way I set this up, I'll have to do it right here. Okay. So I've created a hazard zone over here, but that's okay. Uh, that's out of power. Okay, eating the apple. Bam! Uh, you know what? I'll pick these up. You know what? I made some silicon. Put that in there. Take... You know what? Let's just take 16. 16. 14. Toast you down. Bam, bam. Take you out. Get you started. Bam. Is this out of power? Yeah. That that ended. I figured as much. So, it's not going to be enough to really outpower this. And that's going to actually lose power, but that's okay. And I'm putting more in here than I have. So. Don't worry about that. So this is... Gonna go pretty quickly. I'm gonna keep using that wrench, but before we end, I'm gonna make another wrench. For sure. So, place this guy here. Actually, that's pointless and stupid, because I need to do this first. And I don't care enough about the landmarkers, so we're just going to kind of forget about that. I am going to want to dump most of my inventory, so I'll put this here, and I'll just do one of these. Uh, actually, I want to keep these, this, this, and the pork chops, just in case. So then I will do one of these. In case you're wondering how to do that, it's part of inventory tweaks and it's control shift, although apparently I, or I can't control shift into here, so that's disappointing. Okay, so I have actually two extra slots in my inventory. And there's, oops, there's a couple other chests down in where I was quarrying. So, should be good there. The only major downside to these now is I couldn't run them directly next to it, no matter how hard I tried, at least with... I think it was a filler, actually. So, I am going to need to do one of these, as far as I can tell. Okay, so... Oh, are you filling? You're filling. That's okay. You can go ahead and keep filling. And I will acquire some sulfur for these machines. They do have some residual power, so... Works for me. And it's getting nighttime. I haven't slept in this bed yet since I moved it. So, I also kind of need to do that. Come on. Let me. Let me sleep. I don't want the zombie spawns. They're obnoxious and ridiculous. Which was intentional. Come on. 
Let me sleep. Okay, good, good. I don't know how long this is going to take to fill in, but it looks like it's filling that in pretty good. It's going to take a lot of blocks, I'm sure. That much I'm absolutely sure of. I may have to wall this off because I may not actually have access to enough blocks to fill this. Ooh, I am burning through a lot of blocks already, and I have not even gotten close to filling in. Another news, I have a ton of obsidian now. Look at this, 53. So I'm using cobble because I'm not really going to be seeing that. I plan to fill in the bottom. I do have some spare reserves of cobble there. Take this guy... We'll go over and we'll collect as much cobble as we can. Oh, that's a problem. Oh. Oh no, that's outside. But it is going to be... I think it's going to be a problem for the rest of these. I know it fills in water. And if it fills in water, that raises the question of will it fill in plants? It probably, almost guaranteeingly, won't fill in flowers. Sounds to me like it was filling in grass there a second ago, so... Just need to make sure to get all the flowers. Which is actually really good, because... Uh, crap. Stupid strawberries. They might be good if I have literally zero other food source, but otherwise they're completely garbage and they need to stay far, far away from me. So, back to what I was doing before I got so rudely interrupted. I don't care, I don't care. We'll keep the yellow. Yellow and red flowers tend to be things that I need more of, although it looks like there's some yellow over there. I noticed something with this ladder. You can't really tell right now, but check this... Oh, what? It fixed itself. It was actually off the wall before, which was weird. Ooh, massive hole. So, sit you down. It's actually not really going to matter what I fill it in with. So I'm probably just going to take everything. Like, I'll even throw gravel into that pit. I don't even care. The only problem is, is I'm pretty sure I'm not going to have anywhere near enough in order to do this. Uh, debatable, actually. What? Why is this empty? Here, I'll fill it in for you. That's going pretty good, considering. I, like I said, I don't even really care. I'm just going to click pretty much everything in. And... Hello? Um, backpack? Why? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um... Broke. Oh. Whew. But it's being really laggy. Something's up with the filler. Okay. Let's save and quit the title.
and then we'll come back in and see if it understands what's going on. Because I have a feeling that oh, why is this not moving? Why is this not moving? Oh, wait. Okay, we made it out. Now if we load back in... It sped up some more blocks, and now it seems like it's choking again. That seems to have come off alright, but then again, if it's, yeah, it's lagging out, so that's not going to mean too much. The question comes down to why. Why is it dying? Uh, it seems to be running, albeit kind of laggily. Uh, yes, I made a bunch of electrical steel. It's letting me open the chests, so while everything is functioning like it is right now, I'm going to take this opportunity to make a Yetta wrench. Oops. Uh... Partly because the crowbar has a bad habit of taking damage, so I'm going to save it for only things where I need a crowbar. And I'm going to instead use the Yetta wrench because it's a bit more specialized for Ender IO. Why is this not working quite right? It might take a while for it to finish. And I might have to do multiple exit enters, so... We're about, about at a wrapping up point anyhow, and I need to get more ender pearls, so I'm going to try and get two more ender pearls before next time. Yeah, I'm going to need two, at least two, uh, and any experience is good experience. So I'll just do one of... whoops, that... That is not a, st not, not the stick, the experience stick. So as you can see, I put another tank on top, so, yeah, I'll keep that. Uh, I'll convert these to die. Actually, is there a better conversion method? Not really. Bam. And put those in there, so now we have plenty of yellow. Red's going to be another big one. Uh, I don't know if those are strawberries or red flowers, but I'll figure out my red flower problem eventually. In the meantime, I'm going to call this good. I've made the wrench, and I need to get some... If I put this back down... Okay, it is going to keep going, but it's still going to run poorly, to say the least. Well... Bit off and on, but actually, can I slash TPS? I can. The tick rate isn't showing too badly, but yeah, pretty much I need to get two more Ender Pearls, and this 64 by 64 area is only going to be the start. By the time I'm done, I plan, like, well, not done, but by the time I've consider this city, because it's going to be a city, it's going to be massive. I plan to expand a whole way over there in front of us, over to the snow biome. I'm not going to go in the snow biome. I plan to avoid that. And I'm going to go that way. Uh, oh, where's my atlas? I can show you something in the atlas before we go, so go anywhere. This whole area right here and I'm not sure what this is. It's not water. I think it's more flat land. But I'm not entirely sure. But the goal is that... Like, let, let me show you 
size comparison. Actually, no, I don't need to because it's got this little thing down here. So, this is a 32 block size, the size of the marker about. So, that's like 256. That's enormous. I'm planning on having literally like 40 to 50 villagers almost in sort of like a town. Oh, come on. Okay. And it is lagging out a bit again, so. Not sure how well it's going to accept those. Come on. The problem seems to mostly occur whenever I add something to its inventory. But the thing is, is we're almost there. It's got one more layer to go, and then I can start walling. And lighting. Don't. Don't be like this, please. Please? Please? <sighs> I'm gonna call this good. When we next come back, I'll have relit this and probably put at least... Uh, I'm gonna put a three high wall. It'll come down sometime in the future to add on to sections of the city, but I'm looking to have at least 50 villagers with... Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to do two villagers or one villager per household, but that's the plan. So I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.